Tuesday night, the state's dashboard showed 12.8 percent of its 2,032 staffed ICU beds were available. That's roughly 260 beds. Micah Pollock, an associated professor of economics at IU Northwest, has been tracking the data during the pandemic. Which sounds like a big number, but when you realize that we have 125 facilities or hospitals that have ICU beds in the state, I mean, that's really an average of like two beds per facility. Wednesday, it dropped to 9.2% of available ICU beds. On Monday, Whitestown flew a patient to Fort Wayne Hospital because of high capacity at a local ER. Dr. Tyler Stepsis at Eskenazi Health helps explain how the data is playing out in real life at many hospitals. Uh, an overflowing emergency department and an overflowing waiting room right now. Eskenazi Health reports 71 COVID patients, 30 are occupying ICU beds. We are very good at creating the extra ICU beds that's needed, uh, the extra teams that are needed. Resources are stretched, but the state reports more than 60% of ventilators are available, even though hundreds of COVID patients are using them. Eskenazi had 99 ventilators available Wednesday afternoon. It's never a bad thing to have extra equipment. Um, the problem is, is having the staff that can run the equipment is the big thing. 95 team members are currently quarantined. Dr. Stepsis hopes the number doesn't increase. Right now, hospitals are stressed but managing. To cope, Eskenazi stopped certain procedures. Dr. Stepsis says you can help hospitals not get overwhelmed by wearing a mask, testing at home if you get sick, and of course, getting vaccinated. A lot of um, viewpoints that, well, if you get sick with the vaccine, why should I get a vaccine? And in the end, it's not so much that we're trying to keep you from getting sick completely, but we're trying to keep you out of the hospital so that people who need the resources can get the resources. 